All right, so I'm gonna start off with supplies and I'm gonna be using um, shea butter, a lot of these little bead clippy things. I don't know if you can see. These guys, uh, bobby pins, I have black and brown, and then, ooh, sorry, my situation is like a whole hood setup, but three bundles of this uh, connect a lot here so it goes into green. And while I have this, this is what I'm gonna start with. First, what I'm gonna do is take some of this shea butter and just get it worked into my hands just to help the hair not be frizzy. Not a whole lot, just a little fingerful. Get my hands nice and shiny. And then I'm just gonna work it down. This hair I washed, so it's a little frizzy. Cool, nice. So I have my hair right now in three buns. If I was doing the Star Wars look, I'm Ray. I just need some added off. But uh, three buns all the way down, looking like a dinosaur. I'm gonna attach this straight up from the rubber band that's already on it and just hoop it around. So now that it's attached, I'm just gonna take it exactly where it divides and I'm just gonna braid this fairly loosely. Um, well, not a braid, just a twist. So it's just gonna be a two strand twist. And I'm just gonna take it all the way down to the bottom. Cool, I'm just a loose secure on the bottom. So now with this, I'm gonna rotate it around just so that it covers my the little knot here, like that, and I'm gonna stick a bobby pin in. So that it's secure. And then I'm gonna come around from the back and twist a little to give me some more volume and to make sure this has the definition that I want. And then just wrap this around one more time and it's gonna take that ponytail, the burr band, um, up and just put a bobby pin in that. So it's pretty secure, but I'm also gonna add one over here on the side. Secure this down. Cool, so I'm secure. And I'm baking my face right now, prepping for the rest of this look, which you all see in another video. So, turn around. What I'm gonna do with this back here is just rotate it around. I'm not gonna secure it because I'm gonna add another piece of hair on top. So, just rotate it around. Cool and it's fine. So I have a half a pack here and I'm just gonna work my hands down to get that kind of smooth. So the reason I had the rubber band was actually for this and um, since it's a half pack it doesn't have a rubber band but no big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and twist this down first and then I'm gonna secure it to the back portion. So all hood rich over here, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. Again, not all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna stop right there, I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna secure this with a bobby pin. And then I'm gonna wind this around the bun.
and secure with another bobby pin. Make sure that's in good and then I'm going to secure this down to make sure it covers my knot and doesn't come out. Another set of hair. I'm going to work some more of that shea butter down my hands and down this piece of hair. To get it nice and then I'm going to secure this on the back with the rubber band. And then just gonna twist it the same way so I'll turn back to the front. I'm gonna twist this down. And this I am gonna take all the way down to the bottom. Grab a couple more bobby pins. Okay. And then we're gonna wrap this in the back. Same way, take it up, cover. And if it unravels, don't worry about it. We'll take care of that at the end. You just want to make sure it's secured back here. And so we twisted this, but I did it just to keep it out of the way. I'm actually going to braid this. I think the braid looks way better. And we're just going to do a regular three strand braid all the way down, keeping it pretty loose. Okay, now that we're braided all the way down, we're going to fluff a little bit. Just loosen it up, make it bigger and more and more and more extra. You want extra, all the extra. And once you've detangled this nonsense, um, you're gonna start underneath. And really the only method to this is just crisscrossing where the braid crisscrosses. I'm gonna try my best to do it because I can't really see while I'm filming this, but it just should pretty much intersect. And then you wrap it in the back, cross it over, come back to the front, cross it over, and you're gonna do this all the way down as well. So to this now, I'm just gonna add um, these beads all around. I'm gonna put some at the top, I'm gonna put some down at the bottom, some up in this little bunny bun. And these, just put them wherever you want. Like this is literally the fun extra part. Okay, so off camera, I just kind of like clipped up all of those loose ends, those flyaways, and added some more beading, fun stuff. And also it took off my powder. <laughs> That's it.